What's going on guys? It's Ryan. We're going to talk about my favorite work of art today, which would probably be hands down Jurassic Park. I know what you're thinking. Everybody chooses Jurassic Park when they're going into movies and filmmaking. And it's not really the fact that it's Jurassic Park. It's how Steven Spielberg created that emotion inside of every audience member that was watching the movie when it came out. Fortunately, I wasn't able to watch it when it came out because I wasn't born yet. I was born in 1994. When I did watch the movie, I was, I was very young. I think I was six or seven years old. I was very fascinated with dinosaurs. Uh, my dad would play with dinosaurs with me all the time. Um, that or Army Men, either, either one, um, which another favorite work of art of mine is Saving Private Ryan, which I also um, just watched because it had my name in it, not for any other reason. But it was a great movie regardless. But I remember sitting there playing dinosaurs with my dad and him saying, you know, there's a movie about dinosaurs that you can watch when you're older. And I was like, I don't want to watch it when I'm older. Why can't we watch it now? And so I begged him all the time to let me watch this dinosaur movie. And I didn't know what it was called. I didn't know Jurassic Park was a thing. But I would ask him over and over, you know, can we watch this dinosaur movie? I want to watch the dinosaur movie. So finally one day he got tired of me begging. My mom was off somewhere, might have been at work, I don't know what she was doing, but she was gone. And my dad and me sat down and watched Jurassic Park together. And I remember how I felt. I remember thinking there's dinosaurs with these people, like they're there, they're living, they're inside the movie. And I remember just so much emotion about just thinking dinosaurs, I want to be with dinosaurs. I want to be with the dinosaurs. I want to be a part of that. I want to be in it. And that's where the love of the movie kind of came from. I was, you know, watching it with my dad after playing with dinosaurs and reading about dinosaurs and having different books that taught me about dinosaurs. It was something that I really loved. And when I watched that movie for the first time, that's all I thought about was the dinosaurs and, and how it was so awesome that they were there with these people and it was real. Um, and then as I got older, I just kept, I watched that movie probably 10,000 times. I, that's probably a little bit exaggerated, but only a little bit, honestly. And I remember watching it as I got older. And as I got older, I was given a camera from my grandmother. And I remember making, you know, stupid little videos here and there, but I never really did anything with it. Um, but I remember... Always when I watched Jurassic Park, and then as I got older, um, maybe probably 13, 14 years old, um, you know, 8th grade, transitioning into high school, kind of what I wanted to do. I just never thought I would pursue film until it became apparent that I can tell these stories. But I don't want to tell them in a visual way unless it's through film. I don't know why that became a thing. I just wanted video and film and cinematography and that line is what I wanted to do to tell these stories and, and to make things a reality that weren't a reality before. Most people weren't really with dinosaurs, but when I was six years old, that emotion captured me and it caused me to think, maybe there is dinosaurs, maybe I can go and see them and be with them. But as I got older, I realized that wasn't a reality. I realized that, you know, dinosaurs are extinct. They aren't real. Um, they were at one point, but they're not now. The closest thing we get is alligator. What could be a dinosaur? And it was just awesome. I've always had a fascination with them. Um, even when as I got older, I just stopped telling people as much. It's my favorite piece of work because it just has so many memories for me attached to it. And also it ties in with my family. There's those emotions that are tied to it, but also it's the fact that it goes back to the emotion, how I perceived it when I was a kid and how I continue to perceive it now even as an adult. It still fascinates me that 
somebody was able to create this feeling of this is real inside of every person that ever watched that movie. You you can't tell me somebody that watched Jurassic Park and was like, eh, it's okay. It's not my favorite. It, eh. I, I mean, even my fiance who doesn't like movies like that is is the same way. I show it to her and she loves it. Because like I said, I just go back to it. It fascinates me. And as I started studying film, once I knew that that's what I wanted, as I started pursuing these different film avenues, I started studying Hitchcock, and I started studying, you know, J.J. Abrams, even though he's more modern, he still has some really good stuff, or, or, um... Or Scorsese, another amazing director, directed The Godfather, which I watched when I was 13 years old with my mom. I kept begging her to let me see uh, The Godfather, because I didn't know what it was, and, um, I remember watching it with her and um, finding out that I'm actually Italian and have some connection to um, mafia way back in my family history. Um, that's beside the point, but that was really cool. And I remember watching that movie in the same emotion that I got with Jurassic Park, but different. It was an emotion like, this is actually probably still real. Because, I, again, I was 13, 14. I already kind of knew... Actually, I was 12, I think, but I already kind of knew that dinosaurs weren't real and still walking around. Uh, but back to Jurassic Park. It inspires me to want to take stories that I have inside my head or that I've had inside my head for years that I've written down somewhere and bring them to life and bring them into the audience's mind and say, this could be a reality. This is possible. And that's what I want to bring to my audience, to my filmmaking life, is wow. I want that emotion of just wow. I want it to be the greatest thing that somebody has ever seen. Um, and I don't think that's unachievable. I don't think it's something that's going to happen in my very first film. Um, but it's, you know, definitely something that I feel like can happen. At some point. To wrap everything up. Jurassic Park. Is my favorite. Favorite work of art. It inspires me to take my stories. And project them. Into multiple different avenues. And multiple different facets. And create something for an audience. That will just say wow. That will get it. That's why Jurassic Park is my favorite work of film. Thank you so much. I have been Ryan Hurst. And I wish everyone the best of luck in their presentations.